Hi, I'm Robert Chartier, broker of the Chartier Realty Group, DRE license number 01173785. Uh, I want to address uh, something that comes up very frequently in the market when we're taking uh, residential real estate listings. <clears throat> People that ask us the first and logical question, what is my home worth? I mean, what can I sell my home for? first question everybody has and uh, we've got to be careful now at least I'm very cautious and careful when I'm answering that because although I'm very familiar with most all areas in San Diego County not just the the area that our office is located in but uh, I know the county very well because we represent buyers and sellers all throughout San Diego literally from San Isidro up into Oceanside and uh, you know about 12 to 15 miles inland that's a lot of area to cover so I'm familiar with all those areas because I'm always watching for those uh, for my buyers for properties in different areas in San Diego and, and my investors buy all through San Diego County so that really keeps me up to speed on the market in general so yes I, I'm very very up to speed and I know what you know price per square foot in most all areas relatively closely right off the top of my head because I do this full-time I'm not a part-time broker so um, you know that that's my game so I know what the value is the, my point I want to make is I'm always very careful to answer that question too quickly because homeowners and you're a homeowner watching this if you ask any agent what is my home worth and if the agent tells you Sometimes if they just, they're like we are, we're just completely honest and upfront with you and say, hey, your home is worth about this amount, uh, you may think that's not enough. And you may be, you may be correct. Uh, I, you know, every agent has their own way of doing things. The data is the data, but every agent has their own way of extrapolating that data and applying it to a property. Plus, your property has unique uh, attributes and features. Uh, no two properties are alike. Um, I can you know, tell you any area about what the price per square foot of a property is, but what if you have a, a brand new remodeled kitchen, remodeled bathroom, beautiful landscaping, new roof, paint, double pane windows. Um, the value of your home obviously is going to be, uh, it can be substantially and significantly more, but each one of those improvements has uh, an approximate value, uh, a value added aspect to it. For example, uh, if you've got a 6,000 square foot lot and you've got really off the off the charts, beautiful, beautiful landscaping, you're going to add six to seven thousand dollars to your property. If you've got a brand new kitchen and it's done with really high quality materials, eight to ten thousand dollars, perhaps fifteen. Now I realize if you redid your kitchen, you may have spent twenty, thirty thousand dollars on your kitchen. It's it's very easy to do, but spending that kind of money on your kitchen. If you have done that, and that's a reasonable, although on our wholesale end, we get entire houses completely rebuilt, foundation to roof, for $45,000. That's the wholesale part of what we do. Most people on the retail can easily drop $15,000, $25,000 on a kitchen. That doesn't mean your home is going to be worth $15,000, $25,000 more uh, if you sell your property within, let's say, a couple years of the time in which you did that improvement. So my point is, when someone asks me what is my home worth, particularly when they call me on the phone, because many times I'll get that phone call, I've got to be careful because if I tell people what the homes are selling for and their home happens to be have improvements, and I always want to go visit the property. If you tell me, hey, I want to know what my property is worth, I, I don't like to give blind estimates of value. I said, hey, let's do this. Set up a day and time I can come by. Give me 10 minutes just to walk through your front door, kind of see your improvements, so I know what your property, what the configuration of your property is, so I can give you an accurate estimate of what the value is. That's the, that is the only way it can really be done with accuracy. No agent, I, I don't care how good they are or think they are, is going to be able to nail your property value on a phone call. It, it's an, a 100% impossibility. Yes, even a new agent can give you a general relative value, but you don't want a relative value. You need to know what is the value that you can sell your home for. In other words, what is the appraiser that's going to be you know, hired by the bank on the, on the buyer of your property? What's the appraiser going to value your house? How are they going to value your property? That's how we look at it 100% of the time because that's the value. There, there's no way to wing that. So 
we're very, very careful and cautious to start throwing numbers out there. Again, if I tell a, uh, a, a prospective client, hey, prices are selling for, let's say, $250 per square foot in your area, and how many square feet do you have? And I do some quick math on my calculator. And I go, hey, your property is worth about this. That, that's a very poor way of doing it, by the way, because you're either going to make a, a homeowner feel as though you're undervaluing their property, and conversely, their property may need a lot of work and, and there may be ter severe termite problems and they may need a new roof and many other things of that nature which you cannot possibly know without walking the property and you may overvalue the property and if, if you, either way either side of the fence undervalue overvalue it, it, it's it's a bad thing if you if i tell a client their property uh, estimated is worth less than they think it is I know what people are going to do, the same thing you're going to do. You're going to pick up the phone, you're going to call the next agent. Uh, we all have the exact same data, by the way. There's no magical data. Uh, but without doing that physical walk-on, it is impossible to nail the value of your property. Impossible. Cannot be done. Just general relative uh, value, sure. Uh, even a brand new agent on the MLS can get a relative value but an experienced agent that knows what they're doing, like myself that's been doing this for 30 years, I know better than to try to wing a value. It, it's just, a, it's a bad way to do business. Um, it can turn people off really fast because if, when you're asking an agent, what is my property worth? You're really asking, what is it really worth? Not, not, not winging it or approximate. And a lot of times people will say to me, uh, to, oh, it doesn't have to be exact, just approximately. Well. I know people ask me that, but really, you, you know this if you're a homeowner, you know as well as I do, you can be honest with each other. You want to know what your property is really worth. You don't want to know approx um, uh, excuse me, specifically what your property is worth. You don't want to know, you know general terms. Um, because if you're a serious, if you're a home buyer and you're serious about listing and selling your property, uh, you need factual data, not not general overview ballpark data. So that's the reason, and many other reasons why I don't do ballpark estimates of properties. I I can tell a client, hey, it's somewhere between this and this range. Let me come walk your property. Once I walk your property, I, I will know exactly what adjustments I need to make, which are going to be. A, a parallel to the adjustments an appraiser will make. Uh, appraiser has far more detail, but you know I've done about a bazillion uh, listings before, so I know how to nail that uh, nail the value of a property because I think exactly like an appraiser when I do property valuations. Uh, it's one of many reasons why when we accept the listing and we'll only accept the listing at a price that's realistic, that we know is going to sell quickly in the market, and of course for top dollar, but that price has to be set right. There's a reason why every single property we list sells quickly. We don't have expired listings. Uh, I, I mean, we've had them in the past, you know, years gone by. Every single agent has, and they, any agent that tells you they haven't had expired listings is just full of hooey. Uh, every agent's had them. But we haven't had an expired listing in six, seven years. We just because we don't we don't accept listings an overvalued property first and foremost we just don't we're honest with people and we tell you the truth so for that reason and the way we market and position properties every listing that we accept uh, we can assure you the property is going to sell at or very close to the price that we told you that it's going to sell for and it's going to be a pain-free experience for you and literally stress-free if you just allow us to do what we do so. My point is, is one make uh, make a, a, a the statement that when you call me and you ask me, hey, what is my property worth? Please just let me come walk your property. Just give me ten minutes to look and see for myself what your property looks like. So when I have that, and and sometimes I'll take a few pictures, but typically I don't need to. I've got a relatively good memory, so. I'm going to take some good mental notes, then I'm going to come back to the office. And at that point, I'm going to extrapolate the baseline data, the 90-day trailing value of sold properties in your area, and then I'm going to make those fine-tuning adjustments for your specific property. And 9.9 uh, .9 times out of 10, the price that I tell you, your price is, uh, that your property should be listed for, is going to be within uh, maybe two or $3,000 maximum 
higher or lower. Um, and, and that's even on a property like seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. If your property is, I say, worth between two hundred fifty and four hundred thousand uh, dollars, I'm typically going to get it within about fifteen hundred dollars either way. It's, it's that precise because I put the extra time into it to be sure that there are going to be no surprises and I'm not going to have any drama when it comes to that appraisal that comes in on the buyer's behalf that the buyer's bank is going to order. So Robert Schertz here, 858-273-1861. My direct sell line is 858-568-6673. So if you want me to come and do an evaluation of the fair market value of your property, I'd be glad to do that. There's never any, uh, any obligation whatsoever. And the price that I come back to you with, I, I will guarantee and assure you, is almost going to nail what the actual uh, appraised value of your property will be. And that's not a range. That's always going to be one single number, by the way. Um, I don't range properties very frequently because I put enough work up front. Um, into the data compilation and to extrapolating that data with the adjustments. So I typically just don't even need to range property values. Sometimes we'll do it slightly just to bring some more multiple offers in. But the really good agents that really, really, really know what they're doing will typically just list a property with one single value, just one number. Uh, up in Orange County and Los Angeles, they don't do range pricing. That's a San Diego thing. I'm sure there's other parts of the country where they do that. Um, if you're really precise and you're, you're really detailed and you really pay attention to what you're doing and you do this job correctly, there only needs to be one single price. And that's in my personal opinion as a broker. And uh, I can tell you every property that we, that we list, we've sold very quickly and we've had an escrow uh, within 30 to 45 days maximum. Uh, there are many times in the market when it's hyperactive as it is now, it's October 8th, uh, 2012. Uh, not uncommon for us to have a property. If we get a very, very good strong offer, we can have property in escrow in three to four days. And that's a good thing when, when the market's hyperactive with buyers, as it is right now. So anyway, but a lot of a lot of buyers, excuse me, sellers will want to wait a week or so and see how many more offers come in and pick the highest and best. That's a smart thing to do. Okay, it's a really smart thing to do, but if you get an offer that comes in your property within, let's say, 24 hours, and you say, hey, that's the top of the market price, it looks like a good strong offer, we've reviewed it with you, uh, it, it's up to you, it's your prerogative if you want to accept that or not, and we'll just present all the pros and cons to every offer that comes in, and we'll tell you the strengths and weaknesses that we see, and I spent eight years in mortgage banking, so I can tell you very, very quickly the strengths and weaknesses of any offer, um, and generally about 